The seed bite type of skiff seems to have originated about 1845 or 1850 along the North Jersey shore. The local conditions were the deciding factor in the design of the boat. These were boats uh, that had to be launched and retrieved through the surf because the inlets were far distant. The boats had to be light so that they could be manned by a crew of a couple of people to be able to push down through the surf. They also had to be seaworthy enough to be able to be retrieved through the surf. Jersey white cedar is used for most all the parts of the boat except for the ribs. The cedar is about next lightest to balsa wood as far as flotation and lightness to make the boat so it's not too heavy to carry. And it also swells very quick in water. When you put a boat together with cedar and it gets wet, in a matter of an hour or two, it will be tight. It's been used as long as I can remember or anybody else. It was a native wood and I think that was uh, the primary reason that it was a wood was easily available. To build a surf boat, you have to build a bottom. The bottom consists usually of two wide boards, about an inch and a half thick, which are joined together and sawed to a pattern that we have, so we standardize the boat. Most of the lifeguard boats all want to be exactly the same. And when the shape is cut out, and then it's glued together, and so it becomes one piece. Then we cut a rabbit. The rabbit is where the first plank on the side of the boat fastens to the bottom. It's really a lap that's made on that bottom. And it starts out at a point in the front where it's nothing down to a, about an inch and a half wide in the middle and then back to the back of the boat again where it goes back to nothing. After that bottom is put together, it's put up on a set of stands and uh, the stands are made at different heights which have a shear put in the bottom so that uh, it's uh, curved from one end to the other. It's put in by pressure from the ceiling of our building uh, to hold the center of it down. It has this curve in it so that we uh, can handle the boat better on the beach and it'll float better. We usually use two forms, one of them in the bow, one in the middle, and the transom as the, as the last form. And those forms determine the shape of the boat that the hull is going to be and also how deep it's going to be and make a decent looking boat out of it.